What's up, guys? I'm E.R. Van Frickin' Pelt. E.R. Frickin' Van Pelt. And, uh, yeah, I'm kinda sick today, but... We're gonna get through this. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna get through this. And today we're doing this a little differently. This is G.I. Joe, ROC, Rise of Cobra, uh, Firefly. I believe he was a Toys R Us exclusive. And, uh, I don't have a, actually have the packaging for him, but I have just about everything else. But I do have the, uh, statistics. And it says, she was a little picture of Firefly, Cobra symbol, then you get a barcode. And, yeah, so it says, Firefly works for Cobra and many come, uh, I'm sorry guys. Alright, let's do this. Firefly works for Cobra at many capacities, from explosive specialists uh, to advanced aircraft pilot with expertise in combat tactics, martial arts, sabotage, and demolitions. He reveals little about himself, preferring to show his talents by resulting by results instead of words. Preferred weapon Mars Industry M A R S Mars Industries D five seven B Extreme Environment Electromagnetic Rifle. So yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at the figure. And I own about now I own a couple Fireflies and Firefly he's one of my favorite characters in G.I. Joe. He's my favorite Cobra character, that's for sure. Um but he is probably number two on my favorite G.I. Joe's of all time. Number one being Snake Eyes, number two being Firefly. And uh yeah, so, Firefly, he, he has always been my favorite, but when I was little, I used to own, I used to have a lot of Fireflies, and I never really played with Firefly as a bad guy. Firefly was always a good guy. I don't know if that was because the uh, Sigma 6 mentality, or what was going on there, but I always used him as a good guy, because he just always seemed like a really cool good guy, and yeah, so... Articulation on this guy, standard G.I. Joe articulation, well, not standard from now, but he does have the, uh, older buck without the, um, wrist articulation, so you can go, um, but yeah, still pretty articulated, or the, uh, rockers on the ankles, but still pretty articulated, um, the head is on a ball joint, can look up and down, can rotate, arms can rotate 360 degrees, bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow, rotate at the wrist, they have a rotation, at the uh, upper ab, they do bend, they do have the ab crunch, legs can go up, they can go side, double joint the knees, and ankles can go in and out, so yeah, that's his articulation, and uh, sculpting on this guy is really cool, this is one of my favorite, this is probably my favorite firefly of all time, and he cost me about 20 bucks, or 20, it was like, yeah, 20 bucks for this guy, because he was... I guess he was like a pretty rare figure. Um, yeah, he w I think he was the Toys R Us exclusive figure, the Firefly, from the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra line. And he's awesome. This this is an awesome Firefly. I just really love it. I really love it. And uh, sculpting on this guy is really cool. I really like the head sculpt. And I like the vest with the blade. And then he has the silver Cobra symbol, the grenade. And then he kind of has like the mountain climbing gear or the... Uh, I don't know what they're called, the like, hooks on his bottom belt, and it's just really, really cool, and the gloves, and the elbow pads, the shoulder pads, it's just really cool guy, really cool on this guy, um, out of a 10 for sculpting, I'm gonna give him a 9, 9 and a half, because this is, this is really cool, and I just, just love it, this is awesome, you know what, I'm gonna give him a 10, I'm gonna give him a 10, this guy gets a 10. Alright, so, yep, yeah. vest is removable, you can, there's a peg on the side, you just unpeg it, and you can slide it off Firefly, it is made out of a harder plastic, so it's kind of hard to get off, but it can happen, and the bottom belt has the same tab, on, let me get the light closer, also has a tab here, so you can untab it, 
and yeah. Hold on. There, 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 there we go. All right. So, yeah. Um, accessories that this guy comes with. This guy comes with really, really cool accessories. Um, first off, I guess we'll start with his satchel. And it can, you can't take your Firefly figure and put it right around him. So, you have him with his bag, his pocketbook. And the satchel is actually, well, pocketbook is, this bag is really detailed, the flaps. And he has, and he has actually this square hole. And the reason for that being, and I'll, I'll show you the reason for the square hole in a second. But now we'll take a look at the next accessory, the gun. And the gun, I guess this is the, uh, the Mars Industries D57B Extreme Environment Electromagnetic Rifle. I guess this is it. But this looks like the uh, rifle that we get with Firefly a lot. And I, I really like this because I think that, you know, it really works with Firefly. And he does hold it really well. So just give it in his hands. Just put it in there. Hold on. There we go. And... You can get him with some really good poses out of the out of this the gun, and he looks really cool holding it. And the reason why I wanted to hold off on the bag square is because, oh wait, first let's take a look at the detail on this. It's, it's really cool. It's a lot of re detail. It's just solid silver or solid gray, but it works. It you know it works, and I like solid weapons because it kind of harkens back to the 80s and everything, and the 90s. And so yeah, and the reason why. I, uh, put off the bag for a second was because the gun actually has a removable clip or a mag and it comes with two clips or mags and you can just put one in the gun and then you can take the bag and actually put one in the bag so you can store a mag and that is awesome just think that's awesome I'm gonna Plug the clip into the gun. If I can find the gun, there it is. And it does look. If you lose it, it still looks like a pretty cool gun. But you know, and that is awesome for a three and three quarter inch figure. You barely see that with twelve inch uh, figures nowadays. And that is just awesome to put that on a on three and three quarter inch figure. He also does come with a flashlight, which is really cool. And you know, he actually holds it really well. So you can get him like looking around like he's about to blow something up and he needs to find the spot where he's going to put the explosive. Which brings us to our next accessory. An explosive. This looks like, um, oh crap, I just dropped it. I I'm not a big explosive or gun kind of guy. I know toys. Um, toys is probably like the main deal. That's, 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 there's like, some guys that are car guys. There's some guys that are gun guys. I'm a toy guy, you know. So I, I don't know about I was going ahead and call this C4 because that, this is if I if I was to call something C4, this is what it would look like to me. So, I, but it's an explosive, and it's really cool. It's just this yellowish whitish color, and it has the uh, black, almost looks like rubber bands, and you get the uh, little timer or something there, and I, that's really cool. And you can't actually hold it in either of his hands. There we go. So, yeah. He can hold it. He does come with... A gasoline tank. And he can't actually hold it by the handle. And I don't know if you can see this, but my handle is actually broken. And he can't actually hold it by the handle. But, you know, he can hold it by the side of the tank. And it's just... The flashlight... The tank and the next accessory are not painted, they're just gray like the gun. And he comes with a little cell phone. And a lot of fireflies come with little cell phones because you know, you can't have Firefly without his without a cell phone. So you can text Cobra and be like, OMG, he just blew up G.I. Joe. He go flying in air, WTF. Like, you know, he has to be texting. And uh, yeah, so put him aside, put that aside. Uh, it does come with a backpack, and you can actually fit the gasoline tank in here. You can put the 
flashlight in here and you can put the cell phone in here and it's a pretty good fit you know um the, you can fit all of these accessories actually in the bag but I found it that um I found out that you have like well I didn't find it out but you have to really shove it in there and then you can take the cell phone you can take the flashlight out really easy but you have to really struggle to take the gasoline can and the explosive out when you shove all these accessories in there but it can actually be done if you're planning to not lose these and you just want them to be stored in the backpack it can be done I'm not gonna do it though and on the slide we see some slots and the slots are for the knife and just kinda slide it in it just slides in like that and the knife is this really nice silver it's not like this dull silver that we see with the gun it's actually painted I mean the guns gray this is silver it's not that same color it's actually painted which I think is really cool and we actually get some nice like edge edges that have been cut, like carved out and we get the uh, black handle and he looks really badass holding this just like I'm gonna hack something or you could you could put it like this this is how I tend to hold my make my G.I. Joe's hold it as I tend to hold, make them hold it like this I just think that looks a lot better he does come with goggles and it's actually how I display how I display my uh Firefly, I make him hold the gun, then he has the satchel, then he has the backpack on the figure stand, and goggles are really cool, and I, I give this to my, well, my, my little cousin, he comes over a lot, and he, he you know, toys, kids, they kind of mix, and they twine, and he saw this guy, and uh, I thought what he did with it was really cool, because I usually take out the accessories, and I kind of, I took out all the accessories, and then I kind of forgot about the goggles, and he had them, and then he went like this, and I, you know, it's kind of went like that, and I thought that was, it's a pretty cool look for Firefly, and, like, he has the goggles down, and I'm like, why didn't I think of this, you know, it, it just seems like simple enough to do, and, uh, you know, eight-year-old did that before I did, and I just thought that was really cool, though, I, I think that looks like a really cool look for Firefly, just to have the goggles down. That, that's not how I'm going to display them, though, because, you know, I'm going to display them with the goggles up. But, yeah, I just thought I'd share that and tell you about that. So, uh, those are the goggles. Take the goggles off. Now, this is a movie figure, and this is Hasbro. And Hasbro and movie figures intertwine to make one big piece of crap. And that piece of crap will have to be this. And this is the gimmicky weapon that shoots the missile. And... You know, let's take out the missile first so I can show you this. Uh, now, here's the thing. I l actually like this. Because this actually is in scale, kind of. It looks like it looks like a missile launcher. So you can have, actually, it doesn't, it actually works for Firefly. Because, you know, other people, they're just like, they give, like, you give... Snake has a rocket launcher. It's like, what the hell is he going to use a rocket launcher? But Firefly, it works, you know? And it's not overly out of scale. Like, um, here's this. And, uh, here's this. And I believe that this would be used more than this, which which is bigger than Firefly. And this, you know. So I think this is more in scale. It's really cool. A lot of detail. I don't think it's actually that bad. I've actually considered displaying Firefly with this. But, um, it, it does shoot a missile, and I just shot it, I'll show you again. Load the missile in, and it does shoot. And, yeah, so, uh, that's G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra Firefly. Um, and, uh, more reviews, I think I'm gonna review next the, uh, Spider-Man movie line, uh, Super Articulated Spider-Man, the Webcan Spider-Man, and the other Spider-Man, and, oh, let me see if I can... The web cannon Spider-Man and the uh, Mega Cannon Spider-Man. So I have those reviews up in a, in a after this, I guess, or before this. But those reviews should be up soon. And uh, yeah, so uh, peace out. This is uh, your Arvin Pelt and Lobo over there, Lobster, Lobes. I'm not gonna do the voice right now because you know I, I don't really feel like it. But yeah, so uh, peace.